today is my 22nd day. Um, I decided to cycle anyway, uh, despite the weather, because like yesterday was forecast to be to be rain, like annoying rain. And today I saw that uh, the rain was inconsistent, like drizzling, basically. So I decided to go to go on it's like annoying because like whether you uh, cover yourself with rain gear or not you're gonna get wet what is happening is that crossing many cities okay towns crossing many towns one after the other Sometimes I'm in a town eating, uh, sightseeing, taking photographs, and I don't even know the name of, of the town itself. This is Altamont. I've been um, cycling around it, then I saw this little cafe diner and I decided that it was my case. Anyway, it has a post office, a library, a grocery, a gas station, a couple of furniture shops. Yeah, what I wanted to say is that I experience towns without knowing their names. It's like talking to people, experience someone closely and don't even know their names. That happens too. Um, but, but we do want to know the names of the things. It helps to store and to it, it helps to fix our memories, you know, memories need names so that we can recall it fast, it's like an archive in our brain. My grandmother told me many times that she grew up in a town called Fontane that had just 800 people. today my uh, destination uh, amazingly early because my day today stage day 22 has been very short very short because I was expecting the rain uh, but the rain isn't this isn't that bad today it rained in the morning it stopped I'm waiting for more rain in the evening so far it's sunny so I'm stopping here in Vandalia, Vandalia, Illinois, just before the town. There's a nice camping, family run, only $20, which is not bad. And I'm stopping here for the reason that ahead um, there are no campings and uh, the alternatives are pretty expensive. It's not gonna be $20, it's like gonna be 80 90 100 dollars it means hotels and motels so sometime even if uh, you feel like pushing more it makes no sense you have to stay in the place that makes more sense and if that is only 30 miles away well you stay you, you stay you stay don't progress so tomorrow it's gonna be my stage is gonna be Vandalia direction to Alton right in front of the Mississippi River and tomorrow is gonna be day 23rd now I set up my tent and uh, I take it easy uh, you know I'm gonna have a shower eating something reading and uh, even um, jump into the pool if I
How do you call the inhabitants of Vandalia if not Vandals? So Vandalia has uh, uh, 7100 Vandals. You see, I wasn't joking. What's the name of the inhabitants of Vandalia? It must be Vandals, isn't it? I mean, Vandalia, uh, Vandalia, Illinois, and I spoke with a gentleman that uh, uh, works together with um, his wife in this beautiful art studio. Here you see Go Vandals, this beautiful art studio. I think it's awesome. And so he told me much about the history of uh, Vandalia, which is very connected to the life of, of Abraham Lincoln. Yes, Lincoln has been uh, practicing uh, his job as a lawyer right here. And in the city hall behind the trees, there is the statue of Abraham Lincoln. But I have to go. This is my 23rd day on the road. I think I gotta go. I mean, uh, I have to be this evening in Alton by the river Mississippi, Mississippi, so there is a long way for me to go. Uh, I'm really thankful and grateful to those, all those gentlemen over here telling me some bit of a history and uh, real lifetime of their community, which are really well preserved and uh, history, I mean, is well preserved. It is uh, there is modernity, but the, the downtown of each town is very pretty and it has the flavor and the taste of the 1800. It is hard to believe, but this road is still the route number 40, the one that I've been using frequently in the latest days. But there is nobody and uh, it is always like that when uh, we are parallel to the highway. I think it's called the 70 or maybe 67. Anyway, there is the highway uh, beside us. So the number 40 is uh, underused, which is good for cyclists. Here we have a car and one is coming. Oh my god, oh my god, look the road I am crossing, encounters with famous route, finally, I'm crossing the route 66, if I would, if I would go to Santa Monica, Los Angeles, California, I would take this all the way south. 